Right then folks, we're getting our gorgeous barmaid here to uh, pull us a pint of this American brown ale so we can do a proper taste test down in the brewery and uh, analyse the recipe a little bit more and give you some final thoughts on the whole beer otherwise it's going to remain a mystery because I don't think I've done a follow up on this yet so there we go, would you look at that she works for tips thank you very much mate so started out to be an American Red turned out being no, not an American Red what was it going to be? Just a, 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 yeah, an American red ale, was it? But we, well, I didn't think we hit the colour at the time, but actually, looking at that, maybe we did. There's, there's hints of red in it, isn't there? It's amber. It's definitely amber, yeah. Anyway, let's take this down into the unit and uh, analyse it a little bit more. Gemma's doing a bit of dry hopping in the background, so don't mind the noise. I've just brought it in from the pub, and at the same time I was talking to one of the punters in there. So this has been in the glass now for about four or five minutes. And would you just look at the way it's presented? It looks like a red ale on the camera. It's crystal clear. The head is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know why the camera keeps hunting around, you'll have to excuse it for a moment. But yeah, I'm really pleased with actually how this beer's turned out in terms of appearance. And uh, well, if somebody served you that in any pub, in any part of the country, you'd definitely not tell them to bugger off with it, would you? So there we have it. This is the American Brown, started as the Rad Red IPA and it's definitely got the hints of IPA-ness into it which is why it wouldn't fit in the category of a regular brown ale but an American brown ale, yes. The colour could be a little bit darker for a brown ale um, and a little bit redder for a red ale so I suppose we haven't hit the colour on the head for either of those categories but talking of head, I've not seen a creamier head on a beer that I've made this is without a doubt the best one I've done so far. It's like velvet. Anyway, let's get stuck in and have a smell and a taste of what we've actually made. First thing that hits you on the nose is Centennial Hops. It's absolutely packed full of hops. And it's also got like a little bit of a bonfire, bonfire toffee note to the back end. But it's extremely well balanced. It's not dominating. Uh, it, it's hoppy, but that multi note is there. That, that bonfire toffee malt backbone is definitely there. Let's have a taste. Yakida, as our brew griffo would say. Mmm. Yeah. So the first thing that hits you is the malt. It's definitely like, it's more like a raisin than bonfire toffee at this point but it's not a raisin as in like a, a, a commercial bottled beer like first ferret or something like bombardier something like that it's it's a little sweeter than that um, and then the hops come and balance that out on the palate they cut through that sweetness and just provide enough bitterness to make you want to go back in for another swallow It's got a nice mouth feel, it's well rounded, it's quite full bodied to be fair to the beer and uh, there's no sign of any alcohol burn there or anything like that but you can definitely tell that she is punching a few points in the ABV department. It is a totally sessionable, quaffable beer which I'm sure would get you in trouble particularly uh, around the bonfire during Halloween or something like that. I think it is one of the best beers that I've made that have been an accident, even though we did spend a lot of time putting together the recipe. Well, actually, I don't think I spent that much. <laughs> the recipe is, is sound. 
we just need to tweak the colour maybe. I don't think I'd change anything else, frankly. It is a really nice, quaffable, drinkable beer. So there you go, folks. Uh, the American Brown, only available at Harrison's Brewery in the brew shed. What do you think to that? Cheers. Oh, and of course you can make it yourself. I forgot that bit, Gem. So the recipe is up online. So if you go and visit the Brew Day video, there'll be a link to the recipe in the description. It is a PDF though. I'll see if I can put a link to a Beersmith file in the description as well. So if you've got Beersmith, you'll be able to just uh, take it and run. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Cheers. Want to try it? It's spot on. Really is. Yeah, have a slurp. I'm a big, big fan, actually. It's actually really nice. It is. Mm. It's matured well, that. We made it a few months ago. It's definitely. Say that to the bitter. Yeah. Mm. It's smooth as well. It is very smooth. Thank you.